In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really awesome colorful transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This video is sponsored by Motion Elements, but more about them later on. So step one of creating this colorful transition is to go into your project tab and we are just going to begin by creating a new black video. So new item, black video. Press OK and drag this onto our sequence or our composition. And as you can see, at the moment, we just have a black video and we want to add a little bit of color onto this. So let's go into effects and we're going to search for four color gradients. So that should be under generate. Drop this onto your black video and we are just going to change all of these colors to the same color, but a slightly different variation. So I'm going to go with a blue. So color one can just be a generic bold blue. Color two is going to be a slightly darker blue. Color three is going to be closer to a purple. And then color four can be a bit of a brighter blue, I think. Now from here, I'm just going to increase the blend all the way up. And the reason why I've done this as opposed to just a block color is I feel like a gradient just looks a little bit nicer rather than one specific shade or one block color. So now that I have this colored video, now I can begin with the transition. So I'm just going to zoom all the way out to 50%. I may even take it further and go to 25. We'll go up to opacity, select the free draw bezier, and I'm just going to put a point here, 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 and then I'm going to go across to there, but I'm just going to increase this across. So we've essentially got this diagonal box going across. Now from here, I'm just going to zoom back into fit and I'm just going to pull the moth expansion all the way down until this disappears. So somewhere around negative a thousand. Gonna create a brand new keyframe on the mask expansion, and then I'm just going to move across in time. We'll go maybe 12 to 15 frames, and I'm just going to increase that number until the frame is filled so that it is around plus 1000. So this is what we have, but you'll notice the problem is we have this down here. So in order to fix that, we just need to move the points down. So we're just gonna to go to this top left point, move that down, and then we'll go to the bottom left point and move that down as well. Now from there, I'm just going to make a cut. So I'm going to go C on the keyboard and make a cut at this moment in time. I'm going to copy and paste this. And then I'm just going to select inverted. So as you can see, it fills the screen and then we change to the second clip and now we have it inverted. So we get this moment where the screen is filled here. Then we swap over to the second clip and we disappear out again. So I'm just going to move these keyframes to the start of the second clip. And I'm going to make sure these keyframes are at the end of the first clip. So they're very close to each other like this. Now from here, we can just do some work on the animation. So we're going to go to the second clip, go to the second keyframe, right click and put ease in. Then we go to the first clip, go to the first keyframe and select ease out. So now when we play this back, you can see it looks a lot nicer. And there you go. Once you are up to this point, all you need to do is just drag this transition point to the point where it cuts from clip one to clip two. Drag that over to video clips like this. So this is one video clip. This is another video clip. We're just going to drag that over that point. And we end up with this cool transition. Before we carry on with this video, let me please just take a second to talk about Motion Elements. Motion Elements is an online platform where you can download Premiere Pro and After Effects templates. You can download presets for Notion. You can download stock video. You can download stock images, music files. There's so much for you to access and so much for you to download. So it's a really powerful website and it's a great tool for us creatives to have. Now, Motion Elements have kindly sponsored this channel. So as a special thank you, they have given you a very kind discount on your first month when you are subscribed to their plan. And as always, you can find the link to this in the description below. Now, back to the video. Now, of course, if you wanted to take this one step further, then we could add a, another layer behind this. So we're just going to make a copy of this layer. So I'm going to hold Option, drag up, or you could just go Command C, Command V. On the bottom layer, we are just going to delete the four color gradient, or we could just change the color. Make sure you do that on both videos. And then we're just going to shift the first video clip over to the left by one frame. So you can see we get this black line appear, then just extend that over. And then we'll do the same thing on the second clip. So nudge that one frame to the right, move that over. 
and you end up with this line. Of course, if you wanted to, you could take that further than one frame and you can have a few frames like this. So you do the same thing here, move it a few frames over to the left and extend to the right. And you can just keep repeating this so you can add multiple layers on top of each other. But that is how you create this custom transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, this is essentially just building on the simple technique of creating a solid and creating masks in order to create a transition. The world is essentially your oyster with this. You can do as many transitions as you like by essentially just having a black solid adding some color onto it and then doing some masking to create a transition. So you don't have to be downloading any fancy transition packs. You can literally make these yourself in a matter of a few minutes. Of course, like if you don't have those spare minutes and you wanted to download a transition pack, then I do have my own transitions pack and you can download this from Motion Elements. The link is in the description below. But anyway, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on a future video. See you there.